Hello everybody, this is Building Inspector aka Ocarina aka Oki and I am on the test server bringing you another house item preview. This time it's Heroes Festival 2021. The event runs November 5th at 12.01 a.m. Pacific until November 15th 11.59 p.m. Pacific. Note, this is test so anything and everything could change. So there is... Um, um, the event going on Keladim is active, but there is exceptions due to expansion availability. So two quests will not be offered, a dream adventure and one afterlife to live, which is a new quest. Um, Tarnix has the event active, but um, you will not have the mischievous cloth works, associated quests and collections, um, the... New quest, the one afterlife to live, and then the two mores quest line, which includes a, dr a dream adventure, by the way. And then um, the merchants will have the co the prices changed um, because of the lack of the cloth works. And then, um, what else can I tell you? The new quest, one afterlife to live, is offered only after you've finished a dream adventure um, which will be repeated annually it has um, three reward options one is a house item one is a cloak and then the other is five I think it's five um, token of heroism unless you are a member then you get double there are nine new festival themed house items on the merchant and there are five new equipment items on the merchant. Three are weapons, two are mounts. So let's get started here. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the, the nine house items. So there is four items that look almost the same they look the same in the exam win window, but um, they have different color notes coming out of it. So Compose Ari, um, that has green notes coming out of it. I can get closer up to it. It looks like a sheet of music. It's one of those items like the spilled beer. You can't like change um, um, the size of it, I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, it does that weird move thing. And then... You can't move, you can't do anything until it finishes that then I'll let you move it but so there's that one they're only one token each the other one is composed dirge which it has reddish pink notes coming out of it there is a let's see here composed concerto uh, it has blue notes coming out of it and then the purple one is called Compose Lullaby. I spaced them out just so you could see the notes easier. But they were kind of mushing together. Okay, the next item that I'm going to show you is Golden Statue of Lord Negafin. This is the minimum size. I'm the smallest possible dark elf without any special... Uh, um, doohickeys on me that would make me shorter so um, here is the minimum size here is a, the maximum size it's really big it's like double my size um, it is solid I can't walk through it and then let me raise it up for you to see the bottom it is not solid on the bottom the well the statue is solid the platform However, it is not. So let's just give you a, a, a better look at this item. Okay. Let me shrink it back down so it's not in the way. The next item is Cerulean Celebration Spangle. And it's as tall as I am. Well, just a tiny bit taller. Here is it at the minimum size and the maximum size is really big and you can walk through it 
none of these items are giving off any noise that I know of. Um, just so you know. I, I should have it on. Now, this guy, you would think he would make noise. Maybe if I turn up his uh, sound effects. Yeah, he, I don't think he makes noise like the other um, plushies that you can get. Sleeping Zygos plushie. Here's the um, minimum size. I can walk through him because he's a plushie. And here is the maximum size. So his body is like taller than me. His head is a, if he lays the head down, it's as tall as me, but he has horns. So he's huge. Okay. And I forget how much these two items cost, but um, I have a link in the description box below to Den Mom's write up and that will show you the screenshots and also the prices of all the items. The last two items that you can get that are house items from the merchant are these two tents. I suppose I should have one maximum and one minimum size and you can't walk through the, the, um, the sides of it but you can walk inside it. So um, <coughs> you can stand on top of it. So this one is called Small Gold Festival Tent, and this one is called Small Regal Festival Tent. And uh, let's see if the bottom corners are solid. So it is solid. I can see all of the the stick or um, support poles or whatever you want to call them of the tent. So it is solid graphically. All right, so that is it for those house items. Now there are five more items that you can buy from the merchant. Three are weapons. I think each weapon's 15, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I didn't put them in alphabetical order, but um, the first one is Combine Might of New Hollis. Um, it is heirloom and appearance only. And here's a close up, of, oops, a close up of it. It's got kind of some blue on the handle and a looking hammer. And then um, this one is combined devotion of Kelethin. And this one, which has a, like, oh, this has green on it too. Some green um, on it is called combined insight of Kelethin. So last year, I think there was like six weapons with the name combine something so these are the um the rest of that set as far as i know there might be more next year i don't know then the other two things are mounts so they are ground mounts um the first one is called golden rug of the art of the ancient champions and this one is called royal rug of the ancient champions it um it's converted into a house item, a plushie. I can walk through them because it's a plushie. This is the minimum size. This is the maximum size. Again, it is a ground mount. I think I do have them in my thing as well, so you can see the stats on them. So, um, yeah, it's just level one heirloom, and it's a ground mount. All right, now, the other two items are from a quest. There's a whole new quest line. Um, that you can do if you complete that other quest line that I told you about in the intro. And you get to choose between three items. So the first item is a replica, the Lord of Dreams. He, it's a replica, so I can't resize it or anything, but he's very sparkly. He's about as tall as I am. And um, he's really cool. And then the other item is this cloak. It is called um, Cryo Silk dream cloak and it's, it's pretty cool and then the last item you can pick from is tokens I think it's five tokens of heroism so those are all the items and I did do a video with one of my alts of um, it's like three different parts to one quest um, you go into a dream zone and then you come out update with the the quest giver and then you go back in. So
So it's like 14 minutes long. And that was with some extra exploring. There's some areas that don't have any mobs or anything. So in the very last zone that you go, dream zone that you go into, you don't have to kill anything. You can walk around it in case you, you're curious. Um, if you have to clear everything, you don't. I killed one mob that was right in front of the thing that you click on. So very easy quest. Just have to zone in and out a couple times. So that is everything. Enjoy. And remember, it is test, so things could change. But as of uh, November 2nd, um, this is what we have. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you soon. Oh, and I don't want to forget, um, Den Mom is um, doing the Extra Life gaming event, um, the 24 event, which is this Saturday, I think it's the 6th, and she's raising money, she's almost at her goal, she's going to have pink hair, so there will be a link to her donation site, please donate, it helps children, so thank you everybody, and I will see you soon, bye.